Oh, Lester, you're living my dream. What you guys do, loving on animals all day, getting to go out there and feed on them. That's my dream, Lester. Yes, that is the dream. However, having to unload 60 bales of heavy ass alfalfa green hay ain't nobody's dream. This is ain't nobody's dream, but y'all join me. Don't leave me alone. And uh, let's just go dirty up my barn, okay? Okay, hold on a minute. What's your name? Roland. Roland? Yes. This guy just walks up at Harbor Freight <laughs> and he's about to have a, you're about to have a heart attack, dude. Yes. You okay? Yeah. Look, he's shaking. So. Jamie, come give this man a so hug. Nervous. He's shaking. So nice to meet you. And he called wow. me, he called me Longhorn Lester. <laughs> hold on, he recognized me first. <laughs> yes, I did. I over there. Dude, said, you, you, need to just, you need to hush it up, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pleasure meeting you. Now, you said you watch the channel every day? Yes, and I'm so sorry about this. Uh, this oh. I'm so sorry. Don't get me emotional, man. I, like, I am at a tool shop. <laughs> don't get me emotional because I, I don't lose my man points here. I'm going <laughs> to turn this off and shake your hand now. Okay. I asked you I asked you one question, though. Who's your favorite of all the animals? You have a favorite? Oh, of course, Tex. Oh, and tell me why you like Tex so much. <laughs> Dude, you're shaking. Yeah. Come here, man. Come on. I'm gonna get this man a hug too. You're shaking. I'm gonna turn the camera off now. So Jamie and I have come to where are we at? Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight. And we are looking at getting one of these pumps to possibly do our own pond fill slash irrigation. So it actually says it's ideal for high volume irrigation. So here's the one they have on display, which looks pretty neat, but here's the problem. They only have an output hose, but they do not have an intake hose. This is the discharge hose. Here's another one, but this is the discharge hose. Now I'll show you something kind of neat that we found. Look at this here. This is a hundred foot discharging hose, but it's only for the two inch gas engine. They don't have one of these in stock. Here's the two inch and they don't No, that's three. I don't know. Lord. We were almost completely successful. Almost. I mean, it's success. It's just not... We're getting closer. It's not every single detail, but we're going to make it work. With pantyhose. We're going to do it with pantyhose on. You know what I'm talking about. So we are off to a different location. That particular Harbor Freight, this is the craziest thing. You can help me if you want to. That particular Harbor Freight had some parts. Two thirds. But other Harbor, so some Harbor Freights, no one has the whole trifecta. Not one. No one has the whole trifecta. What we have to buy is a pump from one location, which is where we're going now. We got the intake and the outtake from this location, and then a third location to get the filter that goes on the intake. So we're trying to put this all together. Why wouldn't they just sell it as a kit? Why wouldn't they sell it as a kit? Really feeling like we're becoming the connoisseurs of Harbor Freight Tool Shops today. 
like if somebody wanted to you know get a good review or really go shopping with us they could because i could have made a video of every single thing i could practically stock the places right now we are leaving another harbor freight now the good thing is we met a really cool guy in there we did. We met a really cool really guy special. he was he was he was excited and um we have an address of another harbor freight a part of town that we don't go to very often so it's a new harbor freight that is not even listed yet oh you know that we are we are no longer in kansas when you can see the houston skyline in the distance you don't come here very often at all especially for something like this all right signing all of our lives away for a trash pump. I didn't even know what a trash pump was before. When Lister told me a trash pump, I'm like, why do we need a trash pump? We have a dumpster. It's because it's a water pump that they call a trash pump because it's not meant to pump clean water. Things that you learn in, you know, DIY things. All right, so it has taken us half a day but at this point, we have pretty much all that we need. The only thing we could not find is a filter to go on the end of the intake. But we will take care of that by using pantyhose. Uh, I've seen that done before. You can stick pantyhose on there and that will make, keep clogged, you know, anything big from trying to get your hose clogged up. I want to point out one last thing. We have been to some very shady locations around Houston. And we come out of one location and Jamie's gas thing was open like this over here. And we're like, hey, how'd that get open? And I don't think there's a way. There's not a button to push in here to pop that gas thing open, right? I says, how'd that get open? Jamie gets in the car and says that someone has siphoned gas out of her vehicle, not at this location, but at one of the other three that we've been to today and we didn't notice it until we saw the gas thing was open and uh yeah we had more gas in that when we when we started we out today we have not driven that much they softened at least five gallons out of our vehicle all right so here's our tank setup uh mr corey he's the fellow who did the hydro seating left this with us and he said, if we don't get rain within the week, we have to, we have to go out there and spray. So what we're gonna do is take the tractor and this tank back over to the pond where Mr. Corey was pulling water from, and we're gonna fill this tank. He's, we're, gonna, we're gonna go about half full, y'all. That's a thousand gallons. We're only gonna pump out about 500 right now. These are all of the components that we got. So this is what we have to hook up. This is the intake hose. Here's the pump. This will pump water from the pond into the tank. That will be step one. There's the filter we needed. So we don't suck up a bunch of trash. And then what we'll do is connect this hose on to the pump, drop that into the tank, and then disperse water from the tank out and spray with this over here. These birds are going to puncture my line. They keep stepping on it. It's like a game. Move. You're going to puncture my line. This is brand new hose, and they all keep stepping on it. They're so darn curious what I'm doing. All right, so we backed the trailer with the tank all the way back to the pond. We got the tank about half full, and it's, it's going to be heavy. It's going to be heavy. I can tell you that right now. Like Jurassic Park around here. I swear it's like Jurassic Park. Look at 
Look out, babies. Y'all need to move. Y'all need to move. Ah, I thought that might get them. She'd, she'd be the person in the scary movie who dies first. I'm sorry to say there's always one little dumb girl who dies first in every scary movie. And that'd be that one right there. All right, so my worry, I don't worry about them biting a hole in the hose. They don't have teeth. But what I don't like is when they step on it. They keep stepping on it. And what we don't want are one of those uh, claws jabbing a hole into this 100-foot hose. Because this is not going to be cheap to replace. And they, for some reason, keep stepping all over it. Wanda, just walk away. All right, so my plan is to come by and water where we already have grass. And so I'm just gonna do this. Hopefully you get the grass to grow back along this hill. It's gonna be a lot of fun for these birds, I can promise you that already. I don't want to waste all my water on her. All right, so it's just like a fireman's hose. I'm gonna go back and forth and just douse it down. I don't want to saturate it, but I do want it to get a little water and I'm gonna do this daily all around the pond. I'm curious how far uh, 500 gallons will stretch. But I'm having to navigate hose. So if you guys don't mind, I'm gonna get off this. I need really two hands to do this. All right, so my goal of this irrigation system is number one, to provide enough water to get all of that grass on that hill to grow. There's a six acre pasture there that we had hydro seeded. And I have to guys, we have to, our animals need that pasture to grow. It's a special grass seed, it's formulated for harsh conditions. Uh, Mr. Corey says the hardest part is going to get it to sprout and get it to germinate. And once it takes hold, he says the best thing we could have is a couple of, you know, a couple of rains. He says, but if we do not get rain, it has to. It has to be um, irrigated, has to be watered, or all of that was for naught. And we don't want that. So my goal, my phase one, my goal, goal one is to utilize the tank that Mr. Corey left me, the pump, and the hoses that Jamie and I went and bought and drive out every day with another 500 gallons and just, you know, do sections at a time and make sure that we just keep, that'll become a part of my daily routine is to irrigate as much as I can each day. And then, like I said, if God, if it be God's will to drop a little rain here and there, that would be great. That, would, that could save me a day or two, depending on how much rain we get. But we need that grass to grow. And then once we get that pasture up and going, it's a different kind of grass seed. Then I can focus my attention on this pasture over here. I, I think it's too late in the summer to reseed with a different kind of grass. So what I'll do is wait till my fall and then I will begin to seed this and let's hope we get some rains to help me with that. But if not, I will have that system right there, my friends. It's gonna be a good system. It's gonna work for us. And we're just so darn blessed. Just so darn blessed. I know these guys really enjoyed it. They certainly enjoyed the water down and now it's just going to come the well this is the blood sweat and tear part that's right this is the blood sweat and tear part <laughs> that everyone wants to have some animals man y'all that's true you live my dream well listen i'm also living my dream and i'm going to do whatever i can to keep this dream alive y'all i am because right now i'm just kind of for the second year in a row seriously for the second year in a row i'm watching my dream uh, 
It is just sun scorched. My dream has become sun scorched and dry. And this land is too beautiful and it holds too much history not to have this place become what I've always wanted it to be. So we're gonna work and we're gonna keep this place alive, y'all. Just gotta figure out how the best way to do that. This here is a really great first step. Thank y'all for watching and we will see you on tomorrow's video. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's like, finally, I can finally take a break. What's to eat around here? Dirt? Some dream. This is some dream of yours, huh? This is, this is, what, you, this is what you dream of, huh? This is what you dream of, watching me eat dirt? <laughs> Wanda, why you make me look bad? Why you make me look bad, sweetie? Let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.